kids, welcome back. Today I have some pork loin chops. You know, one of those uh, strips that I cut up at Costco. Basically, cube up these pork loins. Maybe trim off some of the fat. This is actually beautiful meat. And I'm just gonna make these into nice big cubes. Now, I don't really have a wok. I would be using a wok for this, but on an electric stove, bouncing a wok around on it, it's just not practical. I'm going to cook the fat in there, try and use that up and get a little bit of uh, flavor from there. By the way, I already have my plain rice cooking here. I'm going to be using this new product it's called the VH Sweet and Sour Sauce. So I'll let you know how this works out. Now I do have a little bit of sesame oil. You don't really have to use sesame oil, but it's Asian and that's what I got. That's what I'm going to be doing. All right, I got a whole pineapple here. I'm just going to start from the bottom, cutting off the core. Cutting off the tree at the top, tossing that, and let's just carve the outside of this. I love when pineapples go on sale because this is one of my favorite fruits, and I just like eating big chunks of it. And you know, because we're doing it like this, we don't really have to worry about the core, so I'm just going to cut you know, pineapple around the core. Let me get some garlic in there. I'm going to turn my rice down because it's boiling like crazy over there. If your fat pieces are going in the garbage anyway, you might as well just, you know, start cooking them and get some flavor out of them. All right. Alright, I'm going to be adding a few things to the... Let's put a little salt in here. A couple of mushrooms. Also got a bit of celery here. And when you're cutting uh, celery for Asian dishes, I like to do it on a bit of an angle. So, lay your celery down. Go like that. And you get more, I don't know, slivered action. A little pepper. Now carrots are going to take the longest to cook, so I do want to go slivered and I do want to go pretty thin with these too. And I'm going to put the carrot in right now. I think I'd like to add a little bit of soy sauce directly to the meat right now. As soon as you add, you know, moisture, you know, the cooking process is going to change. You're kind of steaming it now too. Now let's go with some rest of the vegetables. It is starting to smell good already, so I think this is going to taste pretty good. Okay, my rice is already done and that's fine. I can keep it hot by turning off the element, leaving the lid on, and just letting it sit in its own steam, waiting for the meal to be cooked. Okay, it's time to okay, it's time to add the VH sauce here. It smells great. I have no idea how much to use, so I basically just poured it all in. I really don't want the pineapple to cook a lot. I just want it to get warm, so I'm gonna wait till all of the vegetables are nicely cooked in the sauce and sort of finish off with the pineapple afterwards. Honestly, that looks pretty spanking right now. Okay, so finally, I'm ready for the pineapple. I'm just going to drop that in. And some of the moisture from that pineapple will help, you know, sort of thin out the, the uh, sauce a bit too. So I'm expecting it to dilute a bit with that fruit juice, but it should still have a great flavor. Wow. Only other thing I'm going to do is add a few chopped green onions to this. Everything's done. Lots of great color here, and even more now. The green onions. Grab some rice. Plain Uncle Ben's rice aside. I mean, give me a break. That looks awesome. So good. 
See you next time. Take care.